Hi, I'm Lauren for Beauty's Makeup Artist and I'm going to show you how to cover acne. I'm going to show you some really great products that give really good coverage. The first one is by Kera Mask. It's a camouflage cream. You only need a really tiny amount as a little will go a really long way. It's quite thick in consistency so it's not really like foundation. But this is really good for pigmentation, vitiligo, rosacea and as you can see that tiny amount really goes a long way. This is a concealer palette by Dermacolor. You wouldn't usually need all of these colours but if you have got areas on your face that are completely different colours you might want to mix a few different colours and this is also really good for covering tattoos. The next product is by Vichy. Vichy is actually a skincare brand but it has brought out these foundation sticks which you can use as concealer. These are available in boots so they're really accessible and the pigment is really dense so it's great for covering acne. Acne is a really common skin condition and if you suffer from it, it can really affect your self-confidence. Don't be disheartened though, as there are products out there that will cover acne. Just make sure you cleanse well after wearing makeup. Now I'm going to show you how to cover acne using some really simple techniques. This is our lovely model Gemma. Gemma has only recently suffered from acne. We've got her on a new skincare regime using Alpha H products. She used to have a lot more redness here and she's getting a lot less breakouts, which is good. You'll see on Gemma's face, she's got areas of her skin where it's completely clear, which is here around her forehead. And then the areas that are affected are just kind of on her T-zone. And these areas are a lot drier than this area here. So you do need to keep these areas really well moisturised, otherwise the skin will look dry and the makeup won't sit. Before I apply any makeup, I'm just going to make sure Gemma's skin is really well moisturised. I'm using this moisturiser by Alpha H, it's essential hydration cream. It's rich enough to moisturise, but it doesn't leave her feeling really oily. When applying makeup to cover acne, it's easy to assume that you'd apply a really thick layer to the whole face, but it's actually the opposite. You want to start off with really thin layers and build up coverage that way. Because Gemma's skin is really nice and clear in these areas, I'm going to start off by using a tinted moisturiser as a base. This one is by Shantakai. It's called Just Skin and it's got an SPF of 15. And I'm going to start off by applying on the forehead and over the whole face. I've applied tinted moisturiser all over Gemma's face, which has gone in really well actually. And now we're just going to go to the little areas here and cover with concealer. I'm going to use this Vichy foundation stick as our concealer and the colour is sand. And just use a brush, this one's by number seven, and just take a little off the top of the concealer. So I'm just applying with the brush in really fine strokes and you'll start to see how this really takes down the redness. You can also pick it up with your finger as well. This is a slightly thinner brush and I'm going to use that just to go onto the smaller areas and again just pat it on really gently. This does take a little bit of time but I think it's really worth it because you'll get a really flawless finish. So you can see I've applied concealer where we need to cover and now I'm just going to use an under eye concealer just under Gemma's eyes. You wouldn't want to use the same face concealer under the eyes because it will be too thick. So this is a Rimmel 2-in-1 concealer and highlighter. Apply the eye concealer just in thin layers as you did the face concealer and just dab in with your finger. Once you're done with your concealing, what we now need to do is set with a very fine translucent powder. You can use any translucent powder, but I'm using this one by Vichy. And as you can see, it's white. That doesn't mean it's going to make your face look white. So take a little of the powder and just press it into the lid just to get rid of the excess. And the purpose of the powder is to set the concealer and also to take away some of the shine. And we're going to start from the forehead and you'll see 
how this takes away the shine. And don't rub when you're putting this on. You literally just want to pat in so you're setting the makeup. So just go all around the face, especially to where you've applied the concealer. And just press. I'm just using a big powder brush just to dust off the excess. I'm just going back in after I've applied powder just to conceal some areas, but just keep using really gentle strokes. It's fine to use concealer after you put the powder on. Now we've got our flawless base, I'm gonna add some bronzer and blusher to add warmth to the skin. If you suffer from acne and redness, you may feel like that you can't wear blusher, but now we've got our nice flawless base, I'm gonna show you how to apply it. I'm going to use some Bobbi Brown bronzer, this is golden light, this is really good for fair skins. And just take a big brush, pat off the excess on your hand, and we're just going to apply to the outer corners of the face. I'm going to use this neutral toned blusher from MAC and just apply to the apples of the cheeks. And just gently apply with your brush and that will just give you a really nice healthy glow. And it stops the face from looking quite flat after you've done all that concealer work. It's important to use a powder blusher after you've done loads of concealing work just because it will sit better than a cream and a cream blusher, especially if you're using it around here, would mess up all of our concealing work. Important things to remember when covering acne are get a really good concealer that's the exact match to your skin tone. Get a couple of really good brushes to help you blend in the product onto the skin. Get a really good translucent powder and moisturise well and you should get some really good results.